story we've been following ever since uh, Gabby Petito was uh, claimed to or had been uh, reported missing. Again, she had been reported missing by her parents uh, on September 11th. This is some live video that uh, we're taking a look. Our chopper up in the air as the search for Brian continues in Florida. You can see just some of the unique vehicles that they have to use to get through some of this terrain. Again, officials have been saying uh, that uh, about 75% of this uh, reserve is covered in water. So uh, once more, this is a live look as the search for Brian Laundry continues down in Florida. So we do know at this time that uh, search efforts have intensified ever since uh, yesterday's autopsy has confirmed uh, that the body found on Sunday in Grand Teton National Park was that of Gabby Petito. It also was ruled as a homicide. So uh, more developments continue to happen here in this case. And we've been uh, taking a lot of live looks from down on the ground to up in the air. And of course, Live Now has been working hard to uh, talk with just some of these different experts. And yesterday we were speaking with a policing expert uh, who said police and uh, agents there in Florida searching for Brian Laundry are going to try to utilize all the pieces of equipment that they do have. You can see here uh, just some of these different tools. They're using a boat, also uh, some of these different <laughs> equipped uh, four-wheeler type vehicles uh, to get through uh, some of this area. So let's go ahead, jump into some of our coverage with our Fox 13 Tampa <coughs> team as they are uh, just starting another show here. And joins us now live from the search area. Kim, bring us up to speed with what's happening today. Well, Linda, I can tell you, talking with law enforcement officials, they're now focusing in on these large bodies of water and shallow ponds that are at the Carlton Reserve. We just saw as the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office dive teams and their gear were brought into the reserve. Um, and we've also seen crews moving in with pumps, shovels, and other equipment to take a look at those areas. Now, this is day two of searching at the Venice entrance of the Carlton Reserve. Talking to law enforcement, some of the challenges they face are those marshy conditions, extra standing water, and the elements, of course, alligators, snakes, and other creatures. Parts of the reserve go into developed areas, while other trails lead into land that has not been developed. There are a number of areas where Brian Laundry could be hiding. If he's here in the reserve, the Norport Police Department recorded an interview talking about the conditions that searchers are facing. They are less than idea. The terrain is very difficult. Um, essentially, 75% of it's underwater, um, and other areas uh, that are dry, we're trying to clear. And we've also seen backhoes and tractors going into the reserve. That can help clear some of that brush and other debris that could be hindering their search. And again, the latest development that we have today is that searchers are now focusing in on those bodies of water. Those, some of them are larger ponds, some of them are shallow water, but that was definitely confirmed seeing the sheriff's office dive team coming in through here and also bringing those pumps in to clear out some of that water that could possibly help investigators get a closer look and see if possibly Brian is in any of those areas. Linda, back to you. All right, Kim, we know you're gonna stay out there and bring us up to date throughout the afternoon. Thank you. The memorial for Gabby Petito in Northport is growing. People have been steadily dropping off items such as flowers and teddy bears near City Hall. Petito is not originally from our state, but many say she will always be a part of the Northport community. One of the amazing things about Northport is how we come together as a community when something like this happens. We just feel like, you know, she lived here and this is her community. Gabby is originally from Long Island. Another memorial has been set up for Gabby. This one at the spot where she made one of her last Instagram posts, a wall in Ogden, Utah, with a butterfly mural. The spot is now filled with candles, balloons, flowers, and photos of Gabby. There's been a steady stream of people holding vigil ever since her body was found late last week. 
Well, in other news, a deadly crash this morning in Palm Harbor closed U.S. 19 for hours. As Fox 13. All right, so once again, we were listening in uh, there a little bit with Fox 13 as uh, they continue to keep us all up to date on uh, the latest happening there down in Florida. You can see uh, just some of our chopper videos showing us again a look at uh, the search efforts that are taking place in the Carlton Reserve. Again, this uh, in Florida is a 25,000 acre nature reserve, and so uh, authorities have had a lot of uh, issues to try to make their way through and including uh, the terrain, the swamps, and of course, as we heard, the wildlife that they may be encountering as well. Uh, we just heard from our reporter that, uh, again, Kimberly Quizon, she was saying uh, that uh, you could tell that efforts were definitely focused on some of these bodies of water within the uh, park. So they did have a dive team that was making their way into the park. And again, a lot of uh, focus has been on the Venice side of the Carlton Reserve. So they are trying to track down Brian, who again is the sole person of interest in the Gabby Petito case. And uh, we've been staying on top of this story here for you on Live Now from Fox. So far, no sign of Brian Laundrie, again, their only person of interest at this time. So we will be staying on top of this story for you here on Live Now from Fox. Going to also give you just another quick look down on the ground. We have crews down there, uh, but we're also up in the air giving you some different views of uh, this nature reserve. Again, Carlton Reserve. This is in Venice, Florida, where uh, they are focusing their search efforts here today. So